Welcome back. It has been another beautiful day for most of us in middle Georgia. We did see a couple showers move through a little bit earlier, but right now a lot of us staying dry. We are however seeing more clouds moving in on our 41 sky view overlooking downtown Dublin. So already starting to get a little bit darker out there. Temperatures still hanging out in the 80s though. 82 degrees out there right now feeling like 84 when you factor in some of that humidity and winds coming from the west around six miles per hour. Cloud cover earlier today actually helped us to stay a little bit cooler. 84 degrees our high temperature here in Macon 86 is normal and we did start out today once again pretty warm 69 degrees for our low temperature this morning but you take a look across much of the southeast we are still seeing the mid 80s here in Macon but 70 in Atlanta where they are currently seeing showers and storms moving through 76 in Montgomery and 75 over in Birmingham so we thankfully avoided some of those upper 80s and low 90s today for at least most of us here in middle Georgia, but now a very active radar out there for the afternoon and evening, and we're seeing two different systems. So we've got an area of storms coming in from Alabama, but we've also got this boundary that's pushing in from the panhandle. So already starting to see some of those showers there getting a little bit closer to our area. So first things first, we've got this line that's crossing over I-85 right now. That's going to bring us the potential for some gusty winds, heavy rain, all of that as that continues to push further to the south and to the east along some outflow boundaries. Now we've also got further to the south, closer to America's this little storm right here. That's bringing some light rain already to areas of Dooley County and Macon County. And now we are watching these little showers just to the south of Wilcox County that are pushing to the north. So we are going to start to see some better rain chances really over the next couple of hours or so. You do see though that the better chance for severe storms is going to be just to our north. It does include far northern portions of Hancock County and into Monroe County for that level one threat. But most of the issues with those will be damaging wind gusts and maybe some hail out there. This is a look at our latest storm cast from our in-house model. You can see that those showers and storms will be pushing in as we are heading into the evening hours. It does look like we get a break after midnight. A lot of that stuff to our north kind of falls apart, but we are going to stay mostly cloudy by tomorrow afternoon. This cold front is going to start to drop in. That's going to pop up some showers and storms out there, and that is going to bring us some better rain chances into tomorrow afternoon and evening before we see our next wedge front move in. So very active week. Now what this is going to do, this is going to bring us in the cloud cover. It's going to bring us in some northeasterly winds. So some gusty winds out there will also see continued rain chances into early Friday morning, but most of Friday we're actually going to end up dry across the middle Georgia. So that's our one dry day for the week. But you take a look at tomorrow already a level one threat issued across our area. This is mostly going to be for some damaging wind gusts in any of those storms that do start to pop up, but we can't rule out some small hail out there in those storms as well. So for the rest of tonight, scattered showers and thunderstorms possible as temperatures fall into the 60s by tomorrow, though it's going to be another day of afternoon showers and thunderstorms. In just 10 seconds, I'll look at our seven day forecast. At Volume Chevrolet, good oil changes for life, plus a 20 year, 200,000 mile warranty. Visit Volume Chevrolet, I 75 exit 187 in Forsyth. That's volumechevrolet.com. It is your 41 NBC AccuWeather 7 day forecast sponsored by Volume Chevrolet. We do get that cool down on Thursday as that wedge front moves back in 76 degrees out there. High temperature Friday going to be our dry day. And as we head back to the weekend, we're going to bring back the heat. Mid 80s return, but so do scattered showers and storms each day, Saturday and Sunday and into the start of next week.